Hey, fellas. Welcome to the 2 a.m. pipe on the patio. Today, after a long while, I am smoking my Dunhill White Dot 1105 Shell Briar. And in it, I am smoking Carter Hall. Carter Hall here. So this one goes out to Halladin Piper. Who had requested a smoke from this pipe. So yesterday about 7.15, 7.30, 7 7.45 I guess it was, the movers showed up. PM. And all my pipes, all my guitars, my amps, all my stuff, all the kids' stuff, all my wife's stuff, everything showed up. Except for one thing. They missed one thing. They lost one thing. It wasn't a big deal. It was a case for my CDs, but it ain't no big deal at all. I didn't particularly like them anyway. I think I'm gonna turn that case into, the remaining case that I have into a pipe cabinet and I'll just get something else for my CDs. I think it'll make a nice little cut pipe cabinet. I'll have to see. So, something good came out of it anyway. My guitars are all okay. Pipes are all okay. Hey, <laughs> all my 320s are here now. My little Dunhill. I'm good. I'm good. Now, the hard part starts. I gotta just start going through everything. Putting stuff away. Putting things into storage that we're not going to use at this little house and wait till we get our own house. Stuff like that. It was so nice having nothing here, though, I got to tell you. I wish I had left all my stuff back there. <laughs> So I uh, am enjoying reuniting with my stuff, my pipes and my tobaccos, and my guitars. I think that's been the longest I've ever been without a guitar. As of five weeks without a guitar, that was tough, man. And I have a, a really nice acoustic guitar that was made for me back in 1983. And uh, I told Sadie that you know, that was going to be her guitar. I was going to leave that to her. Well, she laid claim to it when it came to this yesterday. She goes, Dad, I'm putting that guitar in my room since you said I could have it. I said, okay, go ahead. She plays guitar, so I told her she could have it. That was going to be her guitar. It was hers. As far as I was concerned, that's her guitar. So I can play it when I want, but it's hers. And it's really cool they when they made it for me they put up at the 14th fret it says has a, a pearl inlay that says onion on it it's really cool There's 
made by Bob Mose. Mose, everybody calls him Mose from Mose Guitars. M O Z E. And then all my, my electrics that I play, they're all made by Shannon Coberly from uh, Coberly Guitars up in Washington State in Spokane. He makes my guitars and my amplifiers for me. Awesome. Just incredible guitars and amps. And uh, I've been playing his guitars and, and amps exclusively since, well, his guitars exclusively since 2007. His amps exclusively since 2007. And then I ordered a guitar right after that, also in 2007, I guess it was, so. I'll have to look at the, the dates on them. And then he made me another one a few years back. Seven or eight years ago, I guess it was now. Gosh, time flies. Sturgis and stopped by his house on the way home and he gave me this beautiful guitar. Ah, oh, it's just gorgeous. Both of his guitars are gorgeous. It's so nice to just have my stuff here, man. All my my first thing I wanted to do is pull off my pipes. <laughs> my kids are like, oh man, yeah, the first thing are the pipes, seriously? Yeah, man, I've been missing my pipes, my 320s. First thing I grabbed out of my boxes was I found the box with the 320s in it. Grabbed my my cigar box with my 320s all displayed in it. Checked those, make sure they were good. Then I checked the pipe that uh, um, Briar Dude made for me, made sure that one was okay. And you know, I just started going through all of them, just checking them all out. Checked my Raider pipe, made sure that one was good. So it's been a long, long time since I've smoked. Carter Hall. And I think I like Velvet better than I like Carter Hall. Um, I gotta get out the Velvet and try that again. But that'll be my next bowl. Some Velvet. See what I think of that. Side by side. Because this one's almost done. <laughs> it's a tiny, tiny little bowl. Boy, it's just a little teeny tiny. Can't even fit my finger in the bowl. But I love it, man. It's a great pipe. It's a great pipe for a quick smoke. It's a, it's a great a tester pipe. I'll tell you, when I was in pipe club, and guys would bring something and, you know, you weren't sure you wanted to try it or not. This was a good one to decide, if, you know, this was going to knock you on your butt or not. If I was going to test Picayune or something, this would be the one I tried it in first before I tried it in a regular size pipe. I love this pipe. It smokes so great, though. Mm. It's 
so I had to make a especially little size tamper for this pipe he said I can get down to the end of the bowl So the family got new, we all got new uh, phones because the service uh, we had with uh, AT&T here was really bad. And uh, my wife being on call, she had to have good, you know, good service because she couldn't miss being called in. And, So let me know how this looks and how it sounds and everything. It's a it's the front it's the front camera, so I don't know how much better it'll be than what I had. But my kids are, man, they're, my phone, the old phone I had before I got the one I was using was so old that it would just die. You know, the battery was just shot on it and it would just die. And then my wife was doing the same thing. Her phone was dying and she had to get a battery pack for it just to keep it running. And she was getting bad. We were getting bad, shoddy uh, coverage here. So, smoke that right down to dust. It's a pretty, pretty little pipe, man, I'll tell you. That is a pretty little pipe. So, I just thought I'd do a quick, quick little uh, video here before my wife gets home. She's working today. She's on call today, so she has to work the weekend. So I'm gonna go back in, keep unloading stuff, and going through things, and try and get the kitchen stuff done. And, A lot of stuff just go into storage. It just, you know, pictures and records and CDs and the stereo and stuff like that. I'm not even going to set it up here because we're only going to be here for a short time. So that's all just going to go get put in storage. But anyway, I will catch you guys later. God bless y'all. Hope y'all have a good weekend. God bless.